Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I did any videos, but the weather finally warmed up, the wind stopped today, and uh, a brand new Crossman 362 came in the mail on Friday. Um, this one, I have not even shot it, I just took it out of the box yesterday and uh, dry fired it, so it works. And what I'm going to do, shoot some of the uh, Premier Hollow Points. 14.3 grain, Crossman pellets, and double crony it, see what it does at 10 pumps. And then I'm gonna install a longer barrel, I've got a 24 inch barrel for it, and see if the velocity uh, is any different. Right now it's about 18 degrees, and let's get to shooting. Totally stock gun. Actually, it's eight pumps. I forgot. This one only goes to eight. You're so only supposed to pump it to eight. All right, here we go. Seven sixty-six, or sorry, six seven six point four. Six eighty. This thing sounds healthy, doesn't it? 668. Forgot how nice it is to load the plastic breech like butter. 682. Uh oh. 673. All right. Let's go put a new barrel on it. Okay, I've got the 24 inch barrel installed with the uh, stock plastic receiver. Let's do five more shots using the same Crossman hollow point, 14.3 grains. Got my crony. I will do eight pumps like before. And uh, I guess now that I have some experience with these, I had no issues at all removing that little tiny Allen head screw whether it was at a 0 0.05, something like that, uh, Allen wrench. Okay, shot number one. Six seventy-nine. I don't think that was much different than before. Oh, there we go, 684. I think that's a little higher. 684. 680. And again, we're at 18 degrees. 682. Well, I'll have to go back and look at the results. I don't think it made a I don't think the 24 inch barrel made a dramatic difference in velocity. So thought that was interesting. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.